Alright, hi everyone, what's up? Welcome to another tech tutorial video. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, but I've been really meaning to do more of them, so uh, I'm here to finally do another one. This time I'm covering stamina attack. More precisely, I'm gonna go over wall boosts and overclocks, since I still see like a lot of players, even experienced players, not know what like an overclock is, because it's not like a very commonly used thing, but it's actually also like a very useful thing, so uh, I'm gonna be here to explain all of that to you today. So before I can get into what an overclock is, I will first have to explain what a wall boost is. So as you might know, you can infinitely climb walls without using any stamina by doing neutrals, which is just jumping on a wall without holding any direction and then holding towards the wall again. Now, as you also might know, uh, if you hold onto a wall and jump away from it, this does not actually use any stamina. I have a little stamina bar here today to like help showcase all this stuff better. If you jump away from a wall, this doesn't actually use any stamina. Now, there's a way we can kind of abuse this by if you jump straight up, right, that's uses stamina. But if you jump straight up and then hold away from the wall, this will actually give your stamina back. So if you don't hold any direction, jump straight up and within 11 frames, tap away from the wall. This will make Melon do this very sudden movement, which will actually have the game refund your stamina. So you will be back, uh, it will give back the stamina you use for the climb jump. Now, this can be useful in certain scenarios to climb up vertical spaces without using stamina. So now that you know what a wall boost is, I can explain what an overclock is. So if I pull up this little overlay here. Up here, it says your stamina value, which is normally always 110. That's the maximum normal amount of stamina you can have. Now, if I climb, it will slowly deplete. And once it gets below 20, it will start flashing red. Now, when we grab a wall right at the bottom of a wall here against the floor, and we jump straight up, this actually counts as doing a jump from the floor, which doesn't use any stamina, as you can see. Now, if you combine this with the wall boost we just learned, you can see that we can get more than the maximum amount of stamina. If you look in the top left, it says we have 137 stamina now. And the stamina bar is also like quite a bit bigger than before. This is because uh, the game refunded us the stamina that we never actually used since we jumped from the ground. We were already at maximum stamina. Now, since we did a wall boost, the game still gave us the stamina back. So we're above maximum stamina now. You can pretty much do this anywhere where you have a ground and a wall colliding to get more than your maximum amount of stamina. As you can see here, normally you would not be able to make this, but by doing a wall boost, you can make it perfectly fine. Now combining all the stuff we just learned, you can do a lot more things that you would be able to otherwise. So this is actually quite a useful technique since you can basically do this anywhere where you have a wall and the ground. Like people use it here to start a 7D flag one to get a bit more stamina to climb up here. Now, there's actually more instances where you can do overclocks without using the floor. Since you're able to do this as long as you can refill your stamina to fill between doing the jump and getting the wall boost. Now, one of these things that refills your stamina are dash crystals. So you can actually do overclocks from dash crystals in certain scenarios. One such case being an example here in LXVI, where you can do a wall, where you can do an overclock using the dash crystal here. Which basically, we're just climb jumping into the crystal, and then right after the crystal refunds our stamina, we wall boost. To have the game refund our stamina, while already being at maximum. So now that you learned everything about the wall boosts and overclocks, you can do cool stuff like this. Well, maybe with a little practice at least. And that will be about it for this video. The map that I use to showcase all this stuff in is the Grandmaster Gym and the library in the Strawberry Gem collab, which I would definitely recommend checking out for yourself. It's a really good place to learn new stuff about the game and practice certain techniques. Uh, I'll also leave a link down below to the stamina meter mod if you're interested in that. And yeah, uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something new maybe. And let me know if you want to see more videos like this and on what stuff you want to see it on. And I hope all of you have a great rest of your day. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, see you later. Bye bye bye.